Good afternoon, uh, YouTube auto community. Rick and Cletus coming at you from the Heartbeat Model Shop in 2016. Uh, hey guys, it's uh, Sunday. Uh, it's pouring down, raining outside, been nasty, kind of cool, chilly weather here in Florida, believe it or not. Uh, had a chance last couple days to uh, get up here and, uh, and kind of work in the in the shop a little bit to get the new year started off. Uh, I uh, have been wanting to try, well I actually did try it once before guys. I, if you remember last year for the uh, uh, Chevy Cheeseburger Extreme Challenge build, I painted a 60 Chevrolet, uh, this tester's Aztec Pearl, uh, the red and I never got it, I ended up messing up on the uh, bare metal foil and I had to put it in a purple pond and I never did repaint it that color. And uh, I had been wanting to try it. That's the only thing, only car I've actually ever painted with my airbrush. And like I said uh, earlier, uh, previous videos, I want to start using my airbrush and get away from rattle cans. Uh, use them every now and then, but I want to do more rattle can or more airbrush than I do rattle can this year. Uh, so I broke out the uh, 49 Mercury, this Revell 49 Mercury. And I built one of these the first part of last year, and that was the black primer with the frame with the flames on it. Uh, and I did, I've been wanting to do one of these pearls. And uh, so I painted this thing uh, yesterday. I think I put five coats. Uh, five coats of the pearl. Uh, this morning, like I said, it was cool, no humidity up here in the uh, in the uh, heartbeat model shop. So I uh, put four coats of the tester's uh, wet look clear on it, and she's been sitting kind of airing out all day long. And uh, uh, I I just. Uh, this is just a clear, no buffing, no wax. Uh, I did end up with, let's see, I've got a little, I got a little spot right here on the on the trunk lid. Uh, I ended up with a little speck. I, I, even I can hardly see it here on the top. But, uh, you know, I'm going to wet sand it. And if it comes out fine, if it doesn't, I am going to be, uh, everything else overall just turned out great. I'm not going to worry about it, not going to stress over it. Uh, like I said, it's only second time using uh, my airbrush to actually paint a model. Uh, so um, I think it just may come out, other than those two little little specks, and I don't know if they will come out or not when I wet sand. I, I, I'm thinking they might, as long as I don't take it down too far. We'll, we'll just try and see what happens, but... Uh, I think she, uh, I think she come out pretty good, guys. I mean, it's got a nice shine to it. Uh, just, uh, like I said, I just took my time. Three or four light mist coats, and then the, uh, the next couple a little heavier and a little heavier, and then the final wet. So it's got about, it's got a good five coats on it. Uh, so uh, there you can really see the shine in the top of it there. Uh, so... So we uh going to let that air out for a couple days. Uh, uh, get the hood. I ended up doing the Lubert hood on it. It's just going to be a, a stock build. Because like I said, I just want to try try something that wouldn't take me, uh, you know, two or three, four weeks to get done. Uh, looks like I got a little, looks like I got a little dot right there in the hood too. But like I said... If it comes out, it does. If it don't, I'm going to be like Dr. Cranky said. I'm not going to stress over it. I'm not going to throw it in the, in the pond. Because uh, basically, it, it's not going anywhere anyway. And just kind of try to learn from it. Uh, I thought I had the spray booth couldn't clean. But uh, hey, you just never know, man. Uh, so we'll, we'll just have to try to clean it just a little bit better next time. Or uh, So uh, I end up painting the ends in the same color. Uh, so we got that done. I've got a rolling chassis. Chassis is completely done. Uh, I'm going to go with the white walls and the hubcaps on this one instead of the uh, steelies and the like that. So we got that got that done. Uh, of course, the uh, interior part is done. I'm going to go with a white interior. 
Uh, I think it's going to look pretty cool with a white interior. First time I ever used my uh, airbrush to do smaller parts. I ended up painting the uh, steering column and the steering wheel the same color uh, as the body. The dash is the same color as the body. And what I'm going to do is just get all the gauges and stuff done and then I'll clear coat that. Uh, I think I should clear coat that. I'm not sure about the steering wheel because I'm going to paint silver on the inside uh, to accent on the inside of the steering wheel. Uh, other than that guys, we got, uh, that's about all we've gotten done so far, and I'll take that back. I got some, uh, I got some paint on, uh, one of my 29s, uh, one of the 29 Ford Roadsters. Uh, I end up going with that, uh, with a, uh, dark navy blue, and, uh, she's been cleared, just kind of, uh, waiting here in line to, for me to get to hopefully get this one done this week and then I'll go ahead and finish this one up. Uh, so I think she came out pretty good. I like the color. So uh, we've got that one painted. Now that one I did do before the end of the year with Rattle Can and uh, I've got all these colors on the uh, these pearls on the Aztec. So the next three or four models I build I'm going to try to do them with this uh, Aztec pearls. One thing I did try uh, over the Christmas holidays I've always I've been wanting to use that uh, candy colors on the Alclad, Alclad 2 like uh, uh, Rusty uh, had been showing videos on doing his Mustang with and the Camaros. Uh, I had a body completely sanded down and thought I had it you know good and smooth. Uh, I think my mistake I made is I only went 600 grit sandpaper. And when I added the silver base coat, once it dried, it showed every sand mark in the whole body. Uh, so uh, I talked to a couple guys online and, and at work and they suggested that I completely go all the way up to 12,000 wet sanding. So uh, I didn't have enough alclad uh, of the uh, silver base coat to do another one. I used just a little, little more than half of the bottle. And I think Rusty said he was using right at half, half, half a bottle. So I ordered another bottle of it. So the next one I do, I will... Uh, because you got to sand them because uh, you got to get out the mode lines and seam lines and all kind of stuff like that. I, I just didn't take it far enough. Uh, but once again, learn something. So the next one will completely uh, go all the way up to 12,000 wet sanding it. And then we'll try the iClad again. And then I'm going to try the, uh, the uh, candies on the iClad too. So uh, hopefully we'll get to try that sometime next couple months, two or three months. Just have to see how it goes. So. Guys, that's about it, what we got going at the moment. Uh, the 49 Burke, got the, the uh, 29 Ford going. Uh, still working on the two, uh, the 47 and the 48 Chevy. Still just kind of doing some sanding and stuff at night when I get home with work if I'm not too tired. Still working on those, so uh, we'll uh, hopefully get, uh, get to them after we get this one and the 29 done. So uh, that's about it, guys. Sunday afternoon, uh, like I said, it's raining. Uh, got to go back and do the old work thing tomorrow after having a Friday off uh, for New Year's. Hope everybody had a safe and uh, safe and uh, good, happy holiday. Uh, so as usual here from old Cletus and Rick from the Heartbeat Model Shop. Guys, have a great week. Be safe, be careful, and we will catch you later.